Yo guys, another video here. Nazmin is your presenter here. We're going to talk about a very essential uh, mineral in the body. And I'm going to talk about magnesium. And I'm going to talk about when we have deficiency of it, what really happens to our body. So guys, sit back and watch. I want to thank you for those who have been watching us. And this video is going to be one of those informative videos like any other which we have shared in this channel has been. So magnesium is an, a very essential mineral which plays a very critical role in body functioning. And I'm going to mention one of the, uh, I'm, go I'm going to give you some of the functions of magnesium in the body. Number one function is about uh, muscle function, where magnesium is necessary for proper muscle construction and uh, relaxation. It helps regulate muscle tone and prevent muscle from cramping and also uh, spasms. Number two is about energy production, where we get magnesium is involved in ATP, what we call adenosine triphosphate production, which is the primary source of energy for cells in the body. So which help, it helps convert food into energy and support uh, the metabolic processes in the, the body through that process called ATP or adenosine triphosphate uh, production. So the magnesium helps in energy production through the ATP process. Number three, the function of uh, magnesium is about bone health. Magnesium is very crucial component in the bone uh, tissue, which is essential for uh, maintaining and also uh, the bone density and the strength. So it helps to regulate calcium and the vitamin D metabolism which are vital for bone health. Number four is about uh, heart health. Magnesium plays a role in maintaining normal heart rhythm and function, which it helps the regulate erectile imbalances that control heart rate and also rhythm, and it supports the relaxation of blood vessels and the blood walls, blood vessel walls, contributing to the blood uh, pressure levels. So heart health, uh, it helps in the reg regulation of the heart rate and the rhythm, uh, in a nutshell, it helps in the control of the blood pressure. Uh, number five is about the nerve function. Magnesium is involved in the nerve transmission and uh, neurotransmission. So it helps regulate the neurotransmitter levels and also supports proper functioning of the nervous uh, system. Number six is about DNA and RNA synthesis. Magnesium is necessary for DNA and uh, RNA synthesis which are essential processes for growth, repair, and also reproduction. Uh, and also number seven is about blood sugar regulation. Magnesium plays a role in insulin sensitivity. It helps our, the cells of the body to be sensitive with uh, insulin. Insulin is the one which regulates glucose in our body. So it helps regulate blood sugar levels and it may reduce the risk of insulin resistance and uh, in what you call type two diabetes. And also number eight is about uh, uh, the protein uh, synthesis. Magnesium is involved in protein synthesis, which is essential for building and repairing uh, tissues, uh, enzymes, and also the hormones in the, in the body. Number 10, last but not least, is about electrolyte balance. Magnesium helps in maintaining electrolytes balance in the body, along other minerals like uh, sodium, potassium, and also calcium. It supports proper fluid and uh, hydration levels uh, at that particular point. So overall, magnesium is a vital amount. Uh, I've, sh I've shown you that ma magnesium is a very vital mineral that plays a crucial role in many physiological processes throughout the body. By maintaining adequate magnesium levels uh, is essential for the overall uh, our, our health and also our body well-being at that particular at that particular point. So guys, magnesium is very essential in our body so that uh, we get uh, to, to maintain it in, uh, in, uh, in our body. So I'm going to state some of the signs and symptoms of uh, deficiency of the, this uh, magnesium in the body. And uh, I'm going to list around 15 of them. Uh, through the, what I've, I've mentioned about the role, number one, when you, 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 you have... Uh, you have low magnesium levels in the body, various symptoms come up. I'm going to give you 15 potential signs that uh, body might need more magnesium. 
Number one sign or symptom is about muscle cramps and spasms. Number two is about fatigue or weakness. When you, are, you have low magnesium in the body, you have that fatigue and weakness. Number three is about uh, difficulty sleeping or what you call insomnia. Number four is about anxiety or irritability. You develop anxiety and irritability and irritability. And also number five is about headaches and migraines which come up. Number six is about irregular heartbeats uh, or palpitations. Number seven, you can develop nausea or vomiting. Number eight is about constipation or digestive issues. Number nine is about tingling or numbness of the extremities. Number 10 is about muscle weakness and tremors. Number 11 is low energy levels. Number 12 is about restless leg syndrome. Number 13 is about postmenopausal syndrome symptoms such as mood swings and also bloating. Number 14 is about difficulty concentrating or what you call brain fog. And number 15 is what we, have, we call high blood pressure. So if you suspect you may have magnesium def deficiency, it's very important to consult with your healthcare provider, uh, professional for proper diagnosis and treatment because these are signs also may be hiding other conditions in the body. So with the healthcare provider who are qualified, they can help determine the underlying cause of, of your symptoms and rec recommend appropriate supplementation or dietary changes which you need to do. So basically, how can you manage magnesium deficiency in your body? Managing a potential magnesium deficiency involves addressing both, both uh, the, the diet, and all, diet intake and also addressing uh, supplementation. You are given some supplements which can help you boost the magnesium levels uh, in, the, in the body. So here is how to manage magnesium deficiency. Number one is about dietary, dietary changes or dietary changes. Increase your intake of magnesium rich foods. And we have a lot of foods available, especially we are in African setting here. We have, uh, uh, they say, leafy green vegetables. When we talk about uh, things like spinach, when we talk about kale, they contain high level of magnesium. Uh, nuts and seeds, like uh, what you call almonds, and also the most despised deer in Africa, the, the, the pumpkin leaves and also seeds. They contain high level of magnesium. Magnesium, all grains. Uh, we talk about uh, the brown rice. They contains uh, a lot of uh, magnesium. Quina, quiona it also contains uh, uh, contains th that level of magnesium. Legumes like beans and lentils also they contain high level of magnesium. And if available. Uh, things like uh, seafoods, like the salmon and mackerel, also contain high level of magnesium. So dietary changes, uh, and these are very important. They can supplement your level of magnesium. Number two is about uh, supplementation. You can give be given supp uh, supplements. If you are unable to meet the magnesium needs through the diet alone, consider taking magnesium sal uh, supplements. There are various forms of magnesium sal uh, supplements available including magnesium citrate, uh, we have magnesium oxide, magnesium glycinate, but, but uh, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the supplementation, I want really to encourage you to, consult, to always consult with your doctor or your healthcare provider to guide you accordingly because also we have toxicity of these kind of uh, supplements. So also very important, uh, monitor symptoms. Uh, keep of uh, keep track of any symptoms associated with magnesium deficiency, such as muscle cramps, fatigue, or headache. If you notice improvement with dietary or supplementation, continue with the regimen as uh, recommended by your healthcare provider. Number four is about addressing the underlying condition. Certain medical condition or medical or medications can interfere with magnesium absorption or increase. Uh, the body's magnesium requirements. If you have any underlying health conditions or you are taking uh, or taking medication, discuss with your healthcare provider how many factors may, how, how the, these factors of medication impact uh, your magnesium levels and also management plan. So very important, you should address your issues with your healthcare provider to help you accordingly. Number five, and what most of you may not like, is about avoid excessive alcohol and the caffeine, 
alcohol and caffeine increase urinary excretion of magnesium, leading to depression over time. Limiting alcohol and caffeine intake may help prevent magnesium uh, deficiency. Selvic so explanatory, but very hard to implement. Number six, stay hydrated. Adequate hydration is essential for maintaining electrolyte balance, including magnesium levels. Uh, drink plenty of water throughout the day to support overall hydration and uh, magnesium uh, absorption at that particular point. Number seven, consider magnesium rich supplements. In addition to oral supplements, consider topical magnesium supplements such as magnesium oil or lotion, which can be absorbed through the skin and may be beneficial for individuals with digestive issues or difficulty in tolerating the oral supplement, supplements. So we have topical, which we can apply on the skin, and they can be help, they can be absorbed through the skin to the body to help you if you are intolerant with the ones which you can take through the mouth. Number eight, follow healthcare provider's recommendation. Always follow your healthcare provider's recommendation regarding uh, magnesium supplementation and the management. They can provide a personal health guidance based on your individual needs, uh, health status, and also other medication or supplements you may be taking. So take your doctor or your healthcare provider advice very seriously because it will help you uh, in, in managing magnesium deficiency. Number nine is about regular monitoring. Periodically monitor your magnesium levels through blood tests or other diagnostic me me measures such as recommended by your uh, healthcare provider. This can help ensure that your magnesium levels are within the optimal range and guide, and guide adjustment to your management plan uh, as needed. So guys, by addressing magnesium deficiency through dietary changes, supplementation and lifestyle modification, you can support your health and well-being and reduce the risk of symptoms associated with the inadequate magnesium levels. As always, consult healthcare professionals for personal guidance and recommendations uh, tailored uh, to your specific needs at that particular point. Unfortunately, what I don't like talking about, there are complications of magnesium deficiency. Uh, when we talk about complications arising from magnesium de de deficiency can vary depending on the severity, duration of the deficiency. Here are some potential complications uh, associated with the magnesium deficiency. Number one is about muscle cramps and spasms. Magnesium plays a, a, a crucial role in muscle function and relaxation. So deficiency can lead to muscle cramps, spasms, and also twitching, which are continuous. Number two is about cardiovascular issues as a complication, where now we have problems including regular heartbeat, what we call arrhythmia, high blood pressure, or that's hypertension, and also coronary heart disease. Number three complication is osteoporosis and bone health where now bones are involved from information and also density regulation. So magnesium uh, decrease uh, bone uh, with the, the deficiency, we have decreased uh, bone mineral density and increased risk of fractures and also what you call osteoporosis. Number four is about mental health disorders. Low, uh, low magnesium levels have been associated with increased risk of mental health conditions, such as the anxiety, depression, and the mood uh, disorders. So magnesium plays a, a role in neurotransmitter regulations and may impact uh, mood and cognitive function of your, of your body. So mental health disorders come up as a complication of magnesium deficiency. Number five is about fatigue and uh, weakness. Magnesium de deficiency can lead to feelings of fatigue, weakness and low energy levels. And magnesium is involved in energy metabolism and insufficiency levels may impair cellular energy uh, production. Now, when we have a problem with the production of energy in the body cells, somebody experiences uh, fatigue and also weakness. Number six, we have digestive issues where magnesium uh, deficiency uh, can contribute to constipation and also, uh, and also digestive tract uh, bowel movement problems. Uh, one also can have diarrhea at that particular uh, at that particular point. So also number seven is about insulin resistance <clears throat> and diabetes. Magnesium plays a role in insulin sensitivity and the glucose metabolism. Though low, so low, low magnesium have uh, been associated with insulin resistance and an increased risk of uh, two, type two type two diabetes. So that uh, the patient now is not able to control the body sugars because of the 
disturbed with the resistance developed and also uh, now the end product is about uh, uh, diabetes at the end of the day. Number nine is uh, about, number eight is about neurological symptoms. Severe magnesium deficiency may lead to neurological symptoms such as tinkling or numbness in the extremities, muscle weakness, seizures and abnormal nerve uh, function. Number nine is about uh, preeclampsia in pregnancy where low magnesium levels during pregnancy have been associated with increased risk of preeclampsia, a serious, uh, a serious complication cataracts by high blood pressure and organ damage. Preeclampsia is very dangerous, especially for pregnant mothers, and magnesium is one of the deficiencies which can be, uh, which is really noted at that particular point. That's why even in the treatment, in the management of preeclampsia, we have magnesium sulfate uh, as a drug used to regulate the uh, preeclampsia complications. Complication in, in, uh, in athletes, magnesium uh, deficiency can impair the, the uh, performance of the athletic and uh, those people who are athletic and also recovery by affecting muscle function, uh, energy production and electrolyte balance. So athletes may experience muscle cramps, fatigue and a decreased exercise uh, tolerance. So this, that comes out, up as a complication. It is essential, guys, to address magnesium deficiency promptly to prevent complications and support the overall health and well-being. If you suspect you may have deficiency of uh, magnesium or are having symptoms of low magnesium levels, consult with the healthcare professional for proper evaluation and management. They can re recommend uh, appropriate interventions, including dietary changes, supplementation and also lifestyle modification to address magnesium deficiencies and mitigate the associated uh, complications because most of the time we don't want you to get into complications. So how can we prevent the magnesium deficiency? It involves adopting health lifestyle habits and ensuring adequate intake of magnesium rich foods and here I'm going to give you some strategies where you can prevent magnesium deficiency. Number one is dietary. Eat a balanced diet, incorporate magnesium-rich uh, foods into your daily meals, including leafy uh, green vegetables. I'm talking about spinach, I'm talking about kale, and other many green vegetables which we have in Africa. Nuts and seeds, like when we, when we talk about these almonds and pumpkin seeds are very high in calcium. All grain, we are talking about grain rice and quinoa, quinoa, so very important, legumes. We are talking about beans and also the lentils. Uh, and also we are talking about the seafood. When we talk about sea seafood, we are talking about salmon and also mackerel. I know seafood can be very expensive, especially in Africa, uh, and especially in the local setting. But we have other supplement foods which can daily supplement the magnesium in our bodies, as I've mentioned. Number two, limit processed foods. Processed foods and refined foods often contain low level of magnesium due to processing. Limit your intake of processed foods such as sugary snacks, defined grain, refined grains, and focus on whole nutrient-dense uh, foods. Number three is, uh, on prevention is about stay hydrated, drink adequate amount of water throughout the day to support overall hydration, and also because this water also helps in the absorption of magnesium in our body. So the hydration can impair mineral absorption, and, in, and in, uh, that, that includes uh, magnesium absorption. Number four, avoid excessive alcohol and caffeine. Um, uh, I know this is very difficult to implement, but uh, because these things are really with us, but alcohol and caffeine have been seen to deplete the, the amount of, uh, of magnesium in our body because uh, alcohol and caffeine increase urinary excretion of magnesium, so leading to depletion over time. Limit alcohol and caffeine intake and drink them in moderation if you have to, be, to, to do it. Number five is consider magnesium supplements. If you are unable to meet your magnesium needs through the diet alone, consider taking magnesium supplements. Choose high quality supplement in consultation with the healthcare professional and follow uh, recommended dosage guidelines by your healthcare provider. Be mindful of medication. Certain medications such as diuretic, proton pump inhibitor, that is the PPI used to treat the peptic ulcer disease, and also antibiotics can interfere with the magnesium absorption, uh, also, or, or they may increase uh, urinary excretion of the magnesium. 
So if you are taking medication that affect man, man, magnesium levels, discuss potential supplementation with your healthcare provider. Number seven, very important, manage stress. Chronic stress can deplete magnesium levels in the body. Practice stress-reducing techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing exercises, and regular physical activity to help maintain the uh, magnesium balance. Number eight is about regular exercise. Engage in regular activities as exercise can enhance magnesium utilization and absorption. Aim for combination of cardiovascular exercise and also strength training and flexibility exercises for overall health and uh, well-being of your body. Number nine is about monitor your health. Pay attention to potential uh, magnesium def def deficiency such as uh, muscle cramps, fatigue and mood changes. If you experience persistent symptoms or are at the risk of deficiency due to a certain medical conditions, consult with the healthcare professional for evaluation and uh, management. Guys, by incorporating these preventive measures into your lifestyle, you can help maintain adequate magnesium levels in your body and reduce the risk of the deficiency and also complications. Also, as always, consult with the healthcare provider uh, before making any significant changes to your diet or supplementation uh, regimen, especially if you have underlying health conditions or taking uh, uh, medications for other conditions. In summary, guys, preventing magnesium deficiency involves health uh, lifestyle habits and ensuring adequate intake of uh, rich of magnesium rich foods. So by eating balanced diet, staying hydrated, and also limiting processed foods and avoiding excessive uh, alcohol and caffeine intake, you support the optimal magnesium levels in your body. Consider incorporating magnesium supplements if needed, but consult with the healthcare professional first. Also managing uh, your stress, engaging in regular exercise, and monitoring your health for potential deficiencies are also very important as a preventive measure. By taking proactive steps to maintain adequate magnesium levels, you can reduce the risk of the deficiency related complications and support your, your all well-being of your body. Guys, very informative, I know, this video. Kindly, uh, you can replay the video and also watch what I have mentioned in this video. Let me know down below if it, this uh, video is helpful for you. And I want to welcome you to our next videos. Peace, guys, and love you so much.